tonight we're gonna talk about a little known scourge on Spanish peace and dignity. I'm not talking about that festival where they throw eggs and flour at each other. That's cool. I'm talking about Cerebros. Or are there more and uh Angel uh Angli wait Angel Ang Angle Anglically known brain bros, which sounds kinda like rainbows. Unfortunately, that's where the comparison makes a hard stop. We'd already run to several of these rebro rebro braids upon entering the castle, but it wasn't until this room that I discovered that cerebros are a lot like brodents. And that there's a lot of them and they like to swarm. Once we escaped the chaos, I had ample downtime to catalog a number of them, you know, for brosterity. And compile them into a nice brochure for your viewing pleasure. Without further ado, let's fucking go! Our first specimens are the aptly named Dumb Bro and Don't Shoot Me Bro. You just bro down from Brokeback Mountain in the hopes of making it big on Broadway. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited about all these bro words. Pace yourself, Ashley! Now it might be difficult to spot the differences between these two cerebros considering that they look identical, which is why we have to look past the superficial and focus on their actions. While you do that, I'm going to read this fortune cookie. Hmm, the great danger could be your stupidity. That advice is so good, I think I'm gonna double dip. You will live long enough to open many fortune cookies. Oh. I love the meta ones. Anyway, what were we talking about? Alright, Cerebros. When you think about it, Cerebros are kind of like cheese. Take a milky white base, add some bacterial infection, and presto, you're in the shit now. Starting to regret your choices, huh? Anyway, in this metaphor, the slow bro would be a very mild cheddar. For him, doing Lord Saddle's bidding isn't about world domination, it's about the journeyman. Oh, sorry, it's about the journeyman. Unfortunately, he met Leon and, well, it is what it is. You know, timing really is everything. Hold up a second, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Get off my back. Anyway, this is a little belated now, but our lawyers really want to emphasize that any similarity the slow bro uh, bears to the Pokemon of the same name is completely unintentional. After all, slow pokes apparently have delicious tails. My cheese analogy, analogy aside, nobody knows how delicious a Cerebro's meats are. Not that Leon isn't creating a plenty free of sample. Oh wait, plenty free sample. Lord. Next up is an old friend, the Cross Bro, a stable of annoying enemy types. Oh, so alright, we can just keep. I could technically skip this parts. Our bourgeois versus the proletariat. Fight. I could hear this person's like NG plus, so no problemo. Missed two times, Leon activated his dead eye. Critical hit! Wild Cross Bro fainted indefinitely. Yeah. Ah, uh, the protected. We have helmets. Um, he'd seen the damage wrought on the brains of his fellow bros and salad be damned. He wasn't gonna be another hit rate statistic. So on his night off from animal sacrificing, he toyed away in a remote dungeon, crafting the head sheet that would keep his cranium warm and bullet free. And when his turn came, he was so assured, so proud that he would spread the seed of his lord's will without all the messy, messy consequences. But you know, you know what the book of Proverbs say, says about pride? Whoops, I guess my Sunday school teacher was right. The only guaranteed form of protection is abstinence. Ew, it's this one. Oops, sorry everyone, wrong game. Being a henchman isn't easy. Long hours, oh, more commercial? Get this shit out of here, man. Fortunately, there's bro gain henchman's number one rated scalp treatment. What am I saying? Treatment. Guaranteed to make you look good when no one is looking. Defy the cool dress code in the comfort of your private quarters and build the confidence you need to score your next promotion. Bro gain, it's a wig. Alright, we're back to our regular scheduled program. During the break, I had a moment of introspection. Have I, in my Ivy League smugness, been too quick to dismiss the nuances of the Siri bros? No, I don't think so. But I'm gonna skip this, uh, let's see. What I'm trying to say is that I want to give the other side a chance. No matter how wretched they may seem, just like the New York Times. After all, they're parasite-filled humans just like me. Perhaps a shambling locomotive of their hate is still driven by the hot embers of passion. Perhaps in the battlefield of love, desire can be our truce. 
Oh, it's this one. It's the it's Bromeo, the the guy with the red. Oh, it looks like they skimmed some cream from my crop. I guess that's what they get for standing in the mush pit. Ambrose, for you non-Harvard types, Ambrose means immortal. Okay. Oh, clearly this isn't the first time at the Brodio. Well, he's dodging them bullets like it's uh taxes, you know. My goodness. No, my perfect rotation streak. Ah, there it is. So sad. The dude was really on a brawl. If he had lived, he would have made some excellent brogany. And this guy with the chain. Yep. Well, that about does it for this first and final episode of Cerebro's Illustratios de los Illuminados. Hope you had fun. Because I sure as hell didn't. Oh, and to all of you Cerebro's out there just itching to put your worm hands all over me. Ew. <laughs> Why did she make that face? Alright, enough to the- yeah, that was a lot of puns, so let me get out of there, you know. Maybe I should've just skipped it. The room before us was, I don't want to say, it wasn't what I expected, because that would imply that I still have expectations. Well, now I know why the village is so damn poor. There's only one glue strong enough to weld statues to the ceiling. Cash. Before Leon hit a bagman for more crap, we detoured over to a treasure box behind glass. This poor tiny man wishes he was a pirate so bad. Seeing Glassmore as an invitation to the barrier, Leon took out his knife and prepared to pillage. I see. Salad buys his glass from the same distributor as Saddle. I bet he gets some kind of henchman discount. Oh, la di da. A hand grenade, huh? Wait, for real, is that it? You think it must hold some significance for a salad, but we're also talking about a man who thinks statues are just human-shaped chandeliers. Although maybe he's trying to keep the dark spirits away, it's a well-known fact that demons don't like upside-down furniture. It's very disorienting. Oh, the convulsions. Oh, blacked out for a second. I'm not sure what's scarier, that my brain is overloading or that dehydration seems like the optimistic answer. Why is Dean holding that grenade that like he's gonna throw? Damn, I almost had a panic attack. Half my blood volume is just going to be cortisol at this rate. Maybe it's part of some puzzle, like throw the grenade at a safe set of a degree angle and then spin in place to reveal a... Oh, what just happened? Is this still part of the puzzle? Because it doesn't feel like it's part of the puzzle. Paralyzed by shock, I could only scan Leon's emotionless face as he surveyed Bagman's bloodied, lifeless body. For the first time, I felt genuinely scared to be in his presence and I couldn't find the resolve to speak up. My god, they killed the merchant. Uh, I have to say something. I've been accepting of his silence up till now, but I draw the line at genocide. Oh no. Oh no, no, no more blood just like in the church. What did Luis say about this again? In plain, in plain English, mi amigos, you're fucked as fuck. My god, that's exactly what he said. I'm not gonna make it out of your life. Some freaking bug is growing inside of me, feasting on me. Probably gonna burst out of my chest any minute now. For a split second, my rational cell retreated into the ether of despair, ushered by the cloying odor, blood, smoke, and death. Death was everywhere, I realized. I turned my heart away from the deaths of the villagers, but here it was at the doorstep. Literally me, at its sights. Testing the knob, grinning behind the peephole. I have to get away, have to survive. Unlike Bagman, I will survive. You alright? You alright? That was it. Three little words, three little snips of the frame cord to my patience and my shit was officially lost. Oh my god, more puzzles. Uh, are those spikes? Yep, those are spikes. Run, Hashley, run! Well, 
Classic Ashley. Hot damn, nothing like a booby trap to remind you that you're deeply out of shape. Still, I made it. Not a single impalement. Suck on that, crouton, you salad jerk. <laughs> yeah. What? A phase two of the trap? You think you're getting a Caesar and it's actually a cob. Given these new and quite binding circumstances, I feel that I'm entitled to a retraction of my previous request for space. Which is, in fairness, no longer ten tenable. Oh my goodness, now would they have to rescue Ashley. Wait, what about our POV in this one? What's gonna happen? Up against the wall. No pun intended, everyone. Well, shit. I'll be conveniently forgetting this part in my autobiography. Not like anybody would believe it. If I wrote this exact plot point into a movie, I'd get panned endlessly for the con con uh, contrivance. But for real, what kind of Scooby-Doo bullshit nonsense is this? Turning walls? Seriously? What's next? Dudes in armor suits? You know what? I think Leon deserves at least 20% of the blame here. I mean, if he didn't have to murder my romance options, then maybe I wouldn't run stupidly down the most obvious... I did not see that. My bad. It's like a visual novel that lacks some of the features of a visual novel. Hmm? I wiggled around in the vain effort to escape, the keyword being vain. I never thought I'd regret God's boob job. Oh god, what am I gonna do? Ew. I mean, this is what it is. I guess she's gonna be here for a couple of hours. Um, do we like go back to Leon? After several minutes of crying and several more minutes of waiting for my tears to dry, I tried to inspect my surroundings. I had honestly expected to end up in a torture chamber, which just doesn't seem to be so hooray. I'm really just confounded by the scale of this place. How much use do you get out of a trap like this? And what's, and what's even the point of these large empty space rituals? Oh wait, sorry. Empty space? Rituals maybe? Up above was the second level that I couldn't really see and weird floating platform jutting out right above me. I bet that's where Salad stands over his unwitting victims, cackling themselves as rabid dogs come out to feast on their flesh. Done with that thought? I looked around some more until it sang that I had no real options outside of wish for sudden onset weight loss. Leon! Oh god. Leon! Damn, if only I could access the morphogenetic field, that would really be the bee's knees. Can't hurt to try, right? Come on, brain, let's tap into some alternative timelines. Ouch. My eyes. Surprise flashbang. Oh. Jesus on a flapjack, there's just no regulation on these foreign channels. With nothing else to do but as usual, wait. I tried to relax my body while my mind wandered. I can't believe Leon killed Bagman. What is he now? Just a miserable pile of secrets and guns. But there had to be some reason, right? Surely Leon wouldn't want to destroy his only source of goods. Who else is going to sell reasonably priced artillery in the middle of a trap hidden castle? Maybe there's just something I'm not understanding. And to be fair, that's been a running theme. Let me think. Maybe Leon learned Bagman was a mole or infected? It's gotta be something more than his general dubiousness. Or maybe Leon just didn't have enough cash and wanted some free stuff. We've all been there. <laughs> no, no, that can't be right. He didn't even take his stuff. Trashly, you're back! Think you got me confused for someone else, little lady? I'm not trash, I'm treasure. What? Name's Cashly. Name's Cashly Hun. Pleasure to be sharing your brain space and hopefully your bank account. I think the bugs are like infecting your brain, man. I mean, am I really that surprised? I took that blow to the head pretty hard. Listen, Toots, time is money and we don't have much time of either. You want my services or what? Services? Yeah, you've heard of service, right? Exchanging cash for convenience. Some people call services the bedrock of human existence. I'm one of those people. I know what services are. Jeez, I'm asking about the kinds of service you could possibly provide, you know, inside my brain. Well, 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 ma'am. I can do lots of things for you. But first, we're going to need to talk about payment. What you can pay, right? I don't know she can pay. How do you even pay yourself? I suppose that is a bit of an unusual arrangement. But eh, to casa is mi casa, right? What's good for the Graham is good for the Gander, you know what I'm saying? I have no idea what you're saying, Cashly. 
I'm saying like a monkey you scratch my back then it's like you're scratching your own back. Why are you speaking to me in cliches? I told you time is money and cliches fit my linguistic budget. Seriously, you're more useless than tragedy. At least that alter ego had a moral center. More schmores, you gotta play to win, girly, and I'm a winner, and you can be a winner too. It's hard to feel like a winner when you're pinned to a wall. Believe me, winning isn't about winning. Winning is about never admitting that you've lost. True? You've been on a debate club, you know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Listen, I can tell you're not buying what I'm selling, so let's cut a deal. I'm going to give you a taste of my power. Take a demo. You know what demos are? I know what demos are, lady. Just save me the, the time and the money and the effort and just, you know, give it to me right here, right now. And how exactly does that help me get off this wall? Ashley, sweetie, you're missing the forest for the trees. One day, maybe soon, your hot-ass bodyguard is going to come to the rescue and you're going to spread your wings. When that happens, don't you think it would be nice if you could repay the favor with some equally hot-ass treasure? Huh. I mean, I would like to be more useful here. That's true. That's what I'm saying, girl. I'm not gonna burden you with all that philosophi philosophizing. I'm here to help you. What's the ca catch, lady? Once again, cash. I don't know. We're paying my you're paying myself. So what's gonna happen? That's like a zero-sum game. Are you saying you want me to find loot for Leon and keep some for um ourselves? Right on the money, sister. Alright, well I'll think about it, but until then you're pretty much useless, huh? Like a magic carp using splash. Okay then, if I ever get out of here, when you get out of here at such time, I'll give you a buzz. Until then, I'd prefer to just wallow in peace. I'm gone, girly. Solid gone. Poof. Well, now that I'm done being insane, uh, what do we do next? Let's try hooking into Leon's brain signal again. Ew. The middle gonads are slaves to my will. That's not Leon. Oh, I don't know what's that all about, but it feels like that time I stumbled on the Secretary of Defense's porn folder and it was just torpedo pictures. Oh, all of a sudden I feel so tired. Not sure if that's bodily exhaustion or just too much mind hack. Either way, I don't think I can fight this feeling anymore. Song reference? I just don't think I can fight this feeling anymore. What the hell? A visual novel version? Oh, I shouldn't have eaten such a large breakfast. I feel like an astronomer could walk in and mistake me for a gas giant. Doesn't help that I'm stressed. Let's see what's uh, what's up in this. Oh. Um, hello. Are you Miss Graham? Oh, hello there. You're Rob, I presume. Yes, that's me. Robin Hood. A uh, reference to an Indian movie. Or maybe not. Was that Jackie Chan? I can't remember. I think it was just a Jackie Chan film. I think that was a Jackie Chan film. Call me Nigel though. That's the name I use on all my legal documents. Well, it's nice to meet you in person, Nigel. We don't have a lot of time. So do you mind if I just jump into some questions about your case? You want to ask me questions to hear my side of the story? Yeah, of course. I'm your lawyer. If you're truly innocent, then anything you can tell me is helpful. Uh, la he said my clothes look like garbage bags and dropped me after I confirmed they were. Ew! That's really a garbage bag? Dress? I think the proper term is upcycling. But regardless, he gave me your case file and I know the basic outline. But I want to confirm a few things. First, you say you're being framed for murder, right? What if we wake up? What happens? Oh my god, we're still here. We are- I was awoken from a copyright nightmare by the telltale destruction of prices earned. So it's gotta be Leon. Thank goodness there's, there's jelly- Cause these jelly legs are quivering. Wait, those footsteps don't sound like Leon's. No, oh no, it better not be Salad. Or maybe it's his mom, the Duchess of Cucumberland. Whoever they are, they apparently don't want to be seen. Leon, I got it. Oh, Louise? Oh no, he's getting murdered! I remember this. Leon? What in the flamethrowing hell is going on up there? Saddle is here? Why? My soy salad bar will make sure you eat the same- Ew. 
Listen, I'm not promising accurate transcriptions here. I really what I hear. Spray on me, lupus. <laughs> More importantly, why am I always missing out on the important stuff? Lewis! Lewis! Oh my god. No, now the- Ew! No, it can't be. Hey, I know you might find this pretty insensitive, but forget about the Spaniard. You're safe. What? Strike while the iron is hot, blondie. Place a very loud order for a hot piece of beefcake. What? Scream! After a minute of me yelling and gy gy gyrating, Leon appeared on the platform above. His beautiful hair is, co is a comfort, even from this distance, but how is he gonna get me off this wall? Why is he pointing his rifle at me? What the fuck, Leon? No freedom ever came without a cause, girly. What is the cause? Shitting myself? Hey, it could be worse. At least you don't have to saw your hand off. It's not gonna be very comforting if I get JF co JFKO'd by a bouncing bullet. The last metal ring succumbed inexplicably to a bullet. I fell forward and thank any attentive deity for the lack of shrapnel in my flesh. I glance up at Leon and learn how quickly once over Reese can be vaporized by a smile. Okay. Come on, Ash. Don't let him off the hook that easy. He could have blown a hole in your thigh. At least be pouty. Talk about near-death experience. More goons. Get out of where? I'm literally stuck down here with cultists. <laughs> what should I do? I've got some ideas. You want the good ones or the free ones? And those not be the same thing right now? It's like your daddy was always saying. I ain't a goddamn charity. But forget you then. Oh, I know. I'll cower against the wall and draw them into a funnel for Dion. That was one of my good ones. You'll be hearing from my mutual lawyer when this is over. Well, typical Ashley Strat. Cowered, uh, cower down, duck down, cower yourself against a wall. Oh god, I can hear one of them breathing right behind me. Maybe I could bite him? Mm. No, that's nasty. I don't want to bite worm flesh. I just have to accept that I'm gonna get grabbed. But in return, this cultist is about to become an easy target. But also, this floor is marble and it's gonna suck to fall on it. But also, also, this cult is gonna be so dead. Sounds like Leon wrecked the supply chain of goons. Let's buy some freedom shares while the market is hot. You're annoyingly on brand, but nonetheless, I agree. I've scrambled over the door, and of course, it's the door's locked. I can't open it. No, de escape de la isla vivo. Oh God, here we go again. Well, back to cowering. <sighs> it's a lot of waves, if I recall. Uh, hey, it's quiet again. Maybe one of the creeps drops something I can use, like a grappling hook. That'd be great. Will we finally be able to use our inventory here? You got it all and you can have I it. I got the key! I can get out! Eager to live up to my declaration, I rushed the door, jammed the key in, and hurled myself inside. Would that be a wise choice? Hmm. Ash versus evil, huh? Phew, I'm shocked I'm still alive. The question now is, did I escape the frying pan only to plate myself? I closed my eyes and tried to wait for my nerves to finish their imitation of a turning tuning fork. What should I do? At the same time, I'm just a tad anxious about landing in another trap. I could really use some guidance here. I'll tell you what you need to do, sister. Put on your Tomb Raider pants and rob this place blind. Or clean. You do realize that we are in mortal danger, right? Like literally every minute is a new opportunity to be murdered. Yeah, and every minute you spend worrying about that is a minute that you're also not fabulously rich. Is that what you want out of life to not be rich? I'm already rich. Oh, well, please, your daddy is rich and this little clusterfuck of a rescue operation is any indication you ain't getting shit when he dies. Wow, I'm like really depressed by how right you probably are. Well, now we know Cache is one money-grubbing bastard personality. Hey, is it at the safe area? Is that something I got? Okay, wait, let's see. Not usually... Oh. Oh, well, you're in for some surprises later then. 
For now, you just need to relax and let me, your inner goddess, guide you in the best, richest version of yourself. I'm ready. Lead me to a world of pure imagination. First, we have to set the mood, Maestro, if you would. Ew. This is cool. It feels referential. Here it's from the cult classic Hero Escape 3 Zero to Hero. Only real fans would appreciate it. Alright, so how are we gonna play this? The game plan is simple. Find treasure, stay alive, find more treasure. So more money, more money, and money. Okay. We do need to have every advantage. Okay, let's see what happened. Like treasure time. Hey, who said you could move my legs? What, you didn't gripe at John for driving your ass to school, did you? Same diff. John was being paid to do that. Well, well, I'm hoping to join that Steam Club. Now you can, you're can gonna pick up that plant or what? Where am I gonna put this shit? Up my ass? Deep pockets is not a state of being, but a state of mind. It's all about how you organize. Just pick it up and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, we got health. Look at that golden hue. Beautiful. Like money. Isn't this one of those plants he, Leon uses to patch up his injuries? Oh yeah, alternative medicine is very lucrative market and much less regulated than illicit drugs. Ashley, you're a born entrepreneur. Okay then, where do we go next? One dude in front of us seemingly afflicted with a lack of peripheral vision or even basic curiosity. Alright, let's skip this. I want to see how do we... Well, since you like manipulating my appendages so much, you better be ready to throw in some extra flailing if things get dicey. Girl, I'm gonna make you flail so good. Oh crap, he saw me. Keep calm and crawl through that hole. Oh. Huh. Phew, made it. And there's another cultist. Good news and bad news. Good news? There's treasure in here. Bad news? You're very likely gonna have to be mur a murderer to get it. I mean, how good of a treasure are we talking about? Uh... Oh, not quality. However, it looks like you have to use those cranks to open the gate, so it seems like there's a lot of value in just offing this one. Hmm, theoretically speaking, how would I do uh, go about doing that? Killing him? Well, if we could find some gold bars, those would be great for bludgeoning. That feels a little intimate for my taste. Yeah, and cultist blood might lower the market value of the gold. I don't know, you could um, burn him or something? With a candle? Lamp? Over there? Alright, let's see. What's, what's she gonna do? Alright, let's see. A little too slow, Gertie. Cut your losses and run. Damn it, mom was right. If you want to trick a man, you gotta be more, un be more unpredictable. Uh, rural areas aren't really known for retaining talent. Right, well, how do you think I should proceed? Okay, then, science point. Alright. We can still hit him with a lantern. You re ready to deliver some pain, Cashley? I've got some free samples with his bum's name on him. Alright. <laughs> Nailed him. Good job, Cash. All in a day's diamond. You're going to give me a diamond for this, right? I'll see what I can dredge up. For now, let's carpe diem. Isn't that a visual novel? I'm kidding. Should I just break for the crank or take the opportunity to finish this guy off? Hmm. I'm gonna just do the crank. Oh wow, she is cranking that soldier boy. My god, he's up already? Does his parasite flesh also double as a flame retardant? Huh. Honestly, if I were saddled, I'd drop the kidnapping plan just try to sell his biotech to the military. You know, those boys would nibble. Well, that's for sure as well. I'm also, I'm like, I'm also curious. I was like, maybe you could have just sell this weapon to the military? I don't know, man. Hey, it's a Resident Evil universe. This is what it is. Two ways to go, huh? Double crap. Gonna have to take a gamble. Uh, more treasure. 
Huh, looks like a dinner or something. Probably should give it a once over. Where should I start? What have we here? Oh, is this handgun ammo? It looks exactly like the kind of Leon picked up in the village. More ammo for Leon. No problemo. Salad doesn't seem like the type to shoot a gun, but I would put money on him running some kind of gun cartel. That is a thing, right? Whatever, these bullets would be a lot more useful in Leon's gun than in his, this drawer. Hmm, nothing here except for this note. And of course, it's in Spanish, so hell if I can read it. Sounds like you need an experta, mi amiga. Alright, I guess you inherited Trash's proclivity for translation. Come on then, I'm all ears. I know we're entering the attention economy and all that, but I'm a little old school, you see. And okay, I don't give a fuck, okay. This, that kind of stinginess is... That kind of stinginess will net you a paraphrase and nothing more. <clears throat> now listen closely. No fam left. He's filling the void with religion. Says the word. Easy mark. Okay then. I don't know. Runes and shit. Some, something the ancestors set up to safeguard this thing called the Las Plagas. Alright. Parasite. Ding ding ding. You got it. And even better news. Salad's got a prior parasite in him too. Figured he did. So is this good news for us? Don't even finish that sentence. Fine. Get the thing salad got seen roll yada yada. Okay, something wrong. What is it? The butler says there's no cure. Once the parasite has become an adult, the only way for the parasite to die is for the host to die too. Sweet baby Jesus. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I should hurry. Maybe leave some of the treasures behind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not talk crazy now. There's always time for treasure. Time to crank this. Time to push this motherfucker. Wait, no, is it pull? I hate to dull your glow, glow girdy, but even I'm not optimistic enough to think that Doohiki is in this room. Ease and convenience aren't exactly the style around here. You're right. Alright, okay then. I don't miss treasure. No, if it's anywhere, it's in that room down the hall. Golden glory. Let's go. My god, what circle of hell have I entered now? A living room with prison bars? It's like the 1700s if honesty had been fashionable. And if the creepiness weren't bad enough, the air in here is more dust than oxygen. You're looking this the wrong way, Cream Puff. You gotta think like a collector. And to a collector, dust is like that filthy gray icing on a deliciously ancient cake. You know what? I'm getting hungry with the cake as well. So, yeah. I'm just saying that the opportunity lies at the intersec intersection of vision and action. And as your personal GPS, let me tell you... You are X marks the spot right now. Alright, time to get some more stuff here. I'm like, I'm just like skipping the doohickeys here. I want to see where this would take me. Hmm, if scooby doo taught me anything about clue hunting in the castle, it's always to check the bookcases. Well, well, somebody give me a Scooby snack because I can see an opening back there. Cash, they motivate me. Can do this. This bookcase ain't shit. Your eyebrows are like goddamn angel wings. And sorry, that was the end of my thing. Oh, what is this? A secret switch. Money. Oh, okay. Okay, so this button makes that middle gate go up. Not super helpful right now, but I'm in it for the long haul. Guess I'll check the back wall. Interesting. So this button brought this gate up, but undid the button from the bookcase. Probably something to keep in mind. For now, let's see what we can dig up in this new section. Ah, uh, there's another switch here. Should I press it? Hell yeah, you should. You didn't come this far to not press it. Right, hopefully this doesn't, I don't know, make Salad Czar call out of the fireplace. But that, was, that wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, but it's also not death, so still a win. Still one more gate I have to open. Surely there's another switch somewhere in the room. Maybe I should check the front area. Hold up, I'm getting a bunch of conflicting treasure signals. I think there's something in front of us. Check that fireplace out. Another puzzle piece. In any case, time to see what new doors that button opens for me. I'll get back to you yet, Leon. Alright, I'm gonna end this video right here. It's a bit long. But yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next episode of Resident Evil 4. Subscribe, like, comment, share to friends and loved ones. Thank you for clicking on this video. Sweet dreams. Good night. Bye.